Good morning, it's Miss Hunt, and this week I'm going to be teaching you all about 3D shapes. So let's take a look at the anchor chart behind me. So of course we're learning about 3D shapes, so this is going to be labeled 3D shapes. Now before I teach you about the different 3D shapes that we have, I want to teach you some very important words that you're going to hear when we talk about 3D shapes. The first word you're going to hear is called a face. It's called a face. It is the flat surface of each 3D shape. So as you see here, the arrow is pointing to the flat surface of the 3D shape. The next word you're going to learn about is called a vertex. It's called a vertex. This is known as the corners of a 3D shape. If you see, the arrow is pointing to the corner or the vertex of each 3D shape. The last word you're going to learn about is called an edge. It's called an edge. An edge is where the faces meet and they kind of make a line. So you have three important words to remember when you're learning about 3D shapes. You have a face, you have a vertex, and then you have an edge. So now that you know those three words, let's take a look at some of the names of the 3D shapes that you're going to learn about. The first one is a cone. It's called a cone. By looking at a cone, hmm, I'm going to go all the way over here to my example. What does a cone remind me of? Well, a cone reminds me of a party hat if I'm at a birthday. It also can remind me of an ice cream cone. What does a cone remind you of? Let's take a look at the next one. This is called a sphere. It's called a sphere. Taking my mind all the way over here. What does a sphere remind you of? Well, I drew a basketball. Hmm, I also think a regular soccer ball reminds me of a sphere. What reminds you of a sphere? What do you know it looks like a sphere? Taking a look at this long one called a prism, it's called a prism. Taking my finger all the way over here, what do I know that looks like a prism? Well, I drew a cereal box in my house. What reminds you of a prism? The next one I'm going to look at is called a cube. It's called a cube. Taking my line all the way over here. At my house, a tissue box reminds me of a cube. What reminds you of a cube? What can you think of? And the last one is called a cylinder. It's called a cylinder. Taking a look, what does a cylinder remind you of? Well, a cylinder reminds me of a soda can. Now you have some things here. We have something called a face. We know what that is. That's a flat surface. And then we have a vertex, which we know is the corner. Here we have the number of faces and vertex or vertices that each shape has. A cone has one flat surface, so it has one face. A cone also has one vertex at the top, so it has one vertex or one vertice. Taking a look, a sphere, well, a sphere is just round like a ball. So it actually has zero faces and zero vertices. My prism, counting all the sides of my prism, my prism has six faces. However, it has eight vertices, eight corners. If I'm counting all my corners, I get to eight. So a prism has eight vertices. A cube, a cube has six faces as well. It also has eight vertices. Something I'm noticing is that my cube and my prism are pretty much really much alike. They're very similar. And then my last one is a cylinder. A cylinder has two faces, one at the top and one at the bottom. So it has two faces. However, a sphere does not have any corners. So it is zero. Well, scholars, that's all about 3D shapes. Please look at the next video so we can teach you how to do the packets, okay? Thank you.